What's crack a and Tommies? It's Monday the 7th, I'm Sebastian. And I'm Noah. Hope you guys had a great time at homecoming. I know I sure did. Me too, homecoming was crazy. Now let's throw it over to a sports highlight with the football team. Hey Bears, I'm Nick and I'm here with the football team captains, Sam Peterson, Braden Swank, Levi Kovacs, and Michael Gasper. Hey, I'm here with Sam Peterson. He recently got a scholarship. Where did you get a scholarship to? Uh, so I had a few different offers. Um, I committed to the Air Force Academy, but I had an offer from Army. Uh, and I committed pretty early, back in uh, February. And after that, I had a few other schools reach out, um, which were um, BYU, Cal Berkeley, Boise State, Hawaii, and Oregon State. So um, I mean, I had a lot of different options. But yeah, Air Force was, Air Force was the, uh, the place for me. What are your main motivations? Um, my motivation is uh, my teammates, my family, and my friends, um, especially on the field. I'm playing for them, and uh, I'm playing for the community in Maple Valley, and yeah. When and why did you join the football team? Um, I didn't start playing football until my freshman year. I didn't start any high school sports or any sports in general until my freshman year. Um, and I just, you know, I'd always dreamed about you know, being an athlete at a young age, and I never had the opportunity until high school, and, and when I got here, I, I tried to take advantage of the opportunity and be the best that I could be. Who do you look up to, either college, NFL, or both? Um, well, a family that I look up to is to actually play um, football at college athletes. Uh, it's the Kafusi family. They play football at BYU, and like, all of their, all of the boys play football, and they all are going into the NFL. So, just like a, a strong family, and they all, they're all very good athletes. So I look up to them. Well, thank you for coming in. Sure, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that look inside the Toma football team. I know we have a great season this year and an even greater game. October 11th, home at 7 p.m. Don't forget to cheer on your fellow Bears. I hope you all will be there. Up next, Mackenzie has a teacher highlight with Mr. Eggleston. Let's go check that out. Hey Bears, I'm Kenzie Larson and I'm here interviewing our one and only Miss Hobson. So my first question for you is what is your favorite part of teaching? Uh, probably the free parking that we have here. Most corporate jobs don't have that. No, actually, it's definitely students and those interactions with them. And I think part of it is that students are smart and they, they make me laugh and they do those sorts of things. But my biggest moments are when they have that breakthrough, that sort of aha, and I say, wow, this is going to be an amazing young adult. Um, what was your favorite class in high school? Okay, mine, even though I teach English, uh, was actually physics. Because I, number one, had an amazing teacher, and I, I think that was probably part of the story. But I also loved it because there was an answer. Like, you were either right or wrong, no gray. So if your favorite class in high school was physics, what got you interested in teaching English? <laughs> Excellent. I think also um, the conversations in physics were a little drier. And I think I liked it that I wanted something that moved with time and, and that became really current. And English does that because it talks about the human condition. So my next question is, if you could give your younger self any advice, what would it be? Definitely to not be shy. Because I think when I was younger, I was really shy. And even though it might not appear to be that way, very true. And I think had I been able to break out of that earlier, I bet I could have had an even more vibrant high school experience. And I loved you know, high school, but it could have been better. And finally, if you could give advice to any of your students, what would it be? That's the one that's such a good question. That's heavy, like good advice. But I think the one is don't pressure yourself so much. You get asked all this raft of questions. What are your grades like? What do you want to do when you graduate from high school? Yes, you have to think about those, but don't let them turn you into an anxious mess. Because honestly, we're going to get through this. And you've got all the support in the world here at the building to make sure it happens in a good way. You heard it here, Bears. Thank you, Ms. Hobson, for answering some <laughs> questions for us. Let's shoot it back to our anchors to see what else is happening this week. Thanks for that highlight, Mackenzie. Up next, we got an interview with Colby and Ms. Bellavo to learn more about Power Hour. Let's see what they got for us. Hi, I'm Judy Bellavo. I'm the associate principal who's in charge of Power Hour this year. I've been hearing two questions from students about Power Hour. The first one is, what's new about Power Hour this year? And the second one is, how do I get more information about Power Hour offerings? 
It's important for you to know that we really listen to your survey information. Each year you'll take two surveys at Tohoma High School about Power Hour, and we really listen to what you have to say. Because of your information that you shared with us last year, we have three new things here at Tohoma High School for Power Hour. The first one is quiet rooms. Many of you said we would like an area to go where it's quiet, I can do my studying, I can do my thinking without being interrupted. The quiet rooms are held in Mrs. Mackey's room, Mr. Pida's room, and Mrs. Molinero's rooms. The second new thing at Tahoma is the weight room. You said we would love to have the weight room open, and guess what? It is open Monday through Thursday now during power hour. And finally, many of you mentioned needing access to your counselors during power hour. So starting November 4th on the second floor, we're going to have the Life Hacks Room. This is a place where one of our counselors will be every day during power hour and there to help you with the big and small questions and needs that you might have. Many students are asking, where do I get Power Hour information? So there are several ways for you to get information about which clubs and activities are happening on which days. So the first place to look is on the website, the Tahoma School District website. Click Tahoma High School, click Resources, Power Hour, and you will have a full schedule right in front of you. Another way to get that information is looking at posters on the walls in the hallways, as well as on all of your teachers' doors. They have their schedule posted for you. Also, the TV screens around the school. Each day, they list what the offerings are for that day. And finally, bulletin boards. Uh, we have bulletin boards on each floor with a listing of what's being offered. I hope all of this information helps you, and we'll see you out of Power Hour. What's up, Bears? It's Henry Robinson, and it's a new week for Week in Review. Starting off this week, Monday, we got a volleyball game coming in home, 7.30. For Future Ready Center events, we got Colby College coming in 8 a.m. near the Future Ready Center. Navy Recruit is coming in Power Hour A and B near the Future Ready Center. Whitworth College is coming in Power Hour A in the Future Ready Center. And University of Idaho is coming in Power Hour B in the Future Ready Center. Moving on, Tuesday, boys golf is at Glen Acres 315. Girls soccer is home at 730. Girls swim is home at the Covington Aquatic Center 330. Girls golf is away at Maplewood 255. Boys tennis is away at Kentwood High School 330. Girls Volleyball is home at 715, and the Cornish College of Arts is coming in Power Hour B in the Future Ready Center. Wednesday, we got Cross Country home at 4 o'clock. Oregon State University is coming in Power Hour A in the Future Ready Center. University of Arizona is coming in Power Hour B in the Future Ready Center. And moving on. Thursday, we got Girls Volleyball away at Kent Ridge High School, 715. Girls Swim is home at the Covington Aquatic Center, 3.30. Girls Soccer is away at Starfire, 6 o'clock. Boys Tennis is away at Cambridge High School, 3.30. And Whitman College is coming in Power Hour A in the Future Ready Center. And WSU is coming in Power Hour B in the Future Ready Center. Friday, we got football. Home, Mapleview Middle School, 7 o'clock. See you there, Bears. Friday is also Application Friday. throughout lunch in the Future Ready Center. Saturday, the cross country team has a hole in the wall meet away at Lakewood High School, 9 a.m. Girls soccer is also away in Ingram High School at noon. See you next week, Bears. This just in, breaking news, Spirit Spotlight for cross country on October 9th at Lake Wilderness at 4 p.m. Double breaking news, there will be free snacks. I repeat, free snacks. Ah, oh, deadly darn it. That's all we have this week, Bears. On that note, I even called there. Have a great day, Bears. Ha! <laughs> <laughs>